Hello and welcome to the Delaware Mortgage Rates Weekly Update. I'm John Thomas with Primary Residential Mortgage to bring you your weekly update for the week of January 23rd, 2012. Alright, let's see. Uh, last week we had a reading on inflation, which there's two readings. There's the consumer price index and then there's a producer price index. Producer is cost of manufacturing goods. That one came out as high as it's been in a long time at 3%. But the consumer price index came in a little bit lower which was 2.2%, uh, which is still running a little hot. So that was bad news for mortgage bonds. That, combined with some other good news, actually caused mortgage rates to sell off at the end of the week, last week, which means, if you look at the chart, you can see we had a really good run up to the highs it's ever been, which means the rates were at the lows they've ever been for the year. And then now you can see for the last couple of days last week, the mortgage bonds were selling off, which means home loan rates were actually going up. So if you had gotten quotes last week that seemed like they contradicted the news of all-time low rates, that's because when you get a rate quote, it's always from the week before, and last week was actually selling off. So rates did increase last week. Still at all-time lows, so still a great time to purchase or refinance a home in Delaware. Um, now, if you look at the Consumer Price Index, you can see... Inflation has been going up, which is bad news for bonds. Um, other news we had in Europe, which is affecting the bonds. The bad news out of Europe has been keeping the bonds at all-time lows, which uh, all-time highs, keeping the rates at all-time lows. Um, I originally told you the people that hold the Greek debt, because Greece is in trouble, were willing to take a 50% haircut on the what was owed to them. Well, now uh, that deal is going to be closer to 68%. They're basically giving up 68% of what they owe to, to keep Greece going. Um, now, what we have in the week this week to affect rates is we've got pending home sales coming out on Wednesday and, and data for new home sales coming out Thursday. Uh, initial jobless claims were released on Thursday. Uh, if you remember, uh, last time's read came in at $352,000, a uh, $50,000 uh, 50, drop in new jobless claims from the previous month. So that's the biggest uh, decline since September of 2005. All right. So, uh, big news is the Congress decided to extend the, the payroll cut for people making a, a, under $106,000 a year. Basically, reduces what they pay on the Social Security tax. Well, that has to be funded from somewhere, so Congress decided to fund that with mortgages. Anyone getting a Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, or even an FHA loan will be paying a higher interest rate to pay for that tax. It's called the G fee, or guaranteed fee. So you'll see Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, some lenders have already started that. It has to be instituted by March 1st, so you're going to see some lenders, their rates jumped up an eighth of a percent, because that's what the cost is to fund this tax, basically, on mortgages. And you're going to see FHA monthly mortgage insurance premium going up by another 0.1%. So that'll make it even harder for first-time homebuyers. Yay, government. Let's go ahead and fund that bill of mortgages. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much the news. Uh, what's going on locally is uh, next free first-time homebuyer seminar is February 18th, 2012 in Newark at the Christiana Hilton. You can register by calling us in the office, 302 Seven zero three zero seven two seven, or you can register online at DelawareHomeBuyerSeminar.com. Uh, if you need a free mortgage consultation to purchase or refinance your home, give me a call in the office, uh, or you can apply online at PRMIDelaware.com. So until next week, I look forward to talking to you. Have a great week.